Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Fabian and today I have a hobby box of the new 1920 Upper Deck Series 2 hockey toping up. I just got back from Clutes and Chara on release day with this box and I couldn't be more excited to open it up. I've also got a pack of overtime to open up so we're going to be opening that and I got a few supplies while I was there so I'll show you that right now. I got some card sleeves and a one touch that we will hopefully have to use today when we pull a nice young gun. And I also got some top loaders and some thicker top loaders for jersey cards and stuff. So that's great. So yeah, let's get on to the hobby box. But first, the pack of over. So out of the Series 1, I am hoping for a good young gun. Kale McCarr would be nice. There's also Nick Suzuki, Kirby Doc. I'm pretty sure there's Barry Hayton, Philip Zadina. The young gun canvas of Quinn Hughes. Hughes. Quinn Hughes looks amazing. So I am very excited. But yeah, first, let's open this pack of Overtime Wave 1. Autos are 1 in 36, so maybe we can pull an auto, not sure though. I've never actually opened up overtime, so this is going to be my first time opening up. So first pack is Timo Meyer, nice, Quinn Hughes, and we have a Riley Smith blue, not numbered, just an insert there, and a overtime winners of Brady Shen. So that's a... Nice little bonus pack there. So I'll take that. Cool. And on to the hobby. So I'm going to open it up. Here's the box if you haven't seen. It's a pretty new product. You're seeing this video after release day, but I'm opening it on release day, which is pretty cool. Those are some jerseys, the dual jerseys. That's Doc and Boquist. So it's pretty cool. And I'm not going to pronounce all the names wrong because I've literally watched maybe one video on this product so far. So I don't know all the names. But the uh, goalie for Columbus, Elvis... Um, Merkley's or something like that. It's similar to that. I know he's did a uh, nice hot, got a hot streak going for Columbus, and they're not that good anymore. But yeah. Anyways, this box says not that many people notice. It also says on the pack it says may contain time sensitive redemptions, and on the hobby pack it also says that too right there, which means there are redemptions that will be expired in a few years, but. There are redemptions in this product, and I'm not sure if Series 2 always had redemptions, and I wonder what they are for. So, if anyone gets them, let me know, because I would love to see them. Get 1920 Series 2 here, bam. You don't get, a, like, a, a booklet or anything for upcoming products in this box, sadly. And I'm going to carefully do the back of this box here. Make it stand up, look nice. I can look back on it, give me memories. And yeah, Kale McCarr is the main one we're looking for. Series 2, Matthew's on it. I'm going to put the box to the side, take out the first pack, and let's get into this box break. So yeah, here we go guys, 1920 Upper Deck Series 2, first time you're opening it. I'm going to go through the base a bit slower, because this is probably one of the last times I'm going to be opening Hobby. I do have a Hobby Pack break coming, and when retail comes out, I'm going to have a tin of that and some extra Hobby Packs coming most likely as well, so stay tuned for that. And I know Upper Deck put some Easter eggs in here, not sure what they mean by that, but like secret hidden cards maybe from other years past, so that'll be cool. Claude Giroux, the base is the same as Series 1, so that is fine. And um, yeah, so it's Claude Giroux. Anders Lee. Alexander Steen, and I will go faster, trust me. I'm Brandon Tanev, and a Dominic Kubalik. That's a good one. Rookie update, I think that is the regular rookie, and another retro rookie updates too. Semye Volomov, Craig Smith, and Blake Wheeler. So, I'm so used to the pictures on the Series 1 cards. These are a bit different, but I like them. So, we're averaging 6 young guns per box. As it says there, may contain time-sensitive redemptions, which means they're redemptions, but after maybe 3 years or so, they will be expired, which would suck if you're opening this in 5 years and you pull a redemption. But yeah, anyways, Corey Schneider on the Devils. Not doing too good this year. And Detroit's not doing that good either. Um, Gabriel Landeskog, that's a decent one. And we have a Markree Rookie Blue of Nikita Gusev. Not numbered, but that's a cool one. There's going to be a lot of updates. Kachuk, Eichel, Jimmy VC, and Artemi. That's a, a really good blue one there. I'm just checking the odds right now. The uh, blue border... Rookies Blue Border, 1 in 30. So, not guaranteed in the hobby box, but that is a nice card to pull. Um, 
it's an alright name, not the best, but I'll take it. Anyways, next up we have Jonathan Duran, Alex Tuck, you used to have a PC of him, don't PC him anymore though. Um, Devin Dubinick, and a rookie retro, I'm pretty sure, of Connor Clifton, so that's pretty cool. Aho, Heinen, McCabe, and Ennis, who used to play on the Maple Leafs, but not anymore. On to the fourth pack. So yeah, there are a lot of Opeechee in this. I know the Youngin class is good. Nick Suzuki, used to play on the Guelph Storm, I actually went to see him in the uh, OHL Cup Finals, and now he's on Montreal. One of the only play rookies that didn't get sent down to the AHL team there. And uh, there's also exclusives and high glosses and clear cuts. So any of those would be nice. Carlson, Kevin Fiala, and a Kale Fleury uh, rookie. OEL, Cal Connor, all based there. So yeah, a lot of Opeachy so far. I feel like retail of Series 2 is always decent. Because instead of base packs, they kind of gave you mainly just the um, Opeachies. So yeah. And I don't think to have those like shining shooting stars in Series 2 because they replaced them with the uh, Opeechee. So Clayton Keller. We have a young gun here. Ryan McDonough, Aaron Ekblad, Jaden Schwartz, and Adam Boquist. That's a solid one to get. It's a uh, decent name. So I'll take that for the first young gun. Alex Kerfa on the Maple Leafs, Prize and Malkin. So yeah, Adam Boquist. That's solid. I'm just checking his number. 492. There are higher numbers now because it is Series 2. So yeah, overall one for one for uh, good name Young Guns. But hopefully we get one of the uh, the really big names, like over $50 range. That would be nice. So Paul Byron. Alexia Fala. Carter Hutton. And a Nicholas Haig, Hage Young Gun. That's alright. Not the best, but... We'll see. Brock Besser, Subban on the Devils, Smith, all base there. Next pack up. Thanks for all the new subscribers as well, guys. It's about to hit 450 at the time of this recording. So if you like Series 2, subscribe because we'll have more of that. And I still have one more Series 1 video to post too, so you'll see that. Bergeron, Olimata, Young Guns Canvas would be nice too. Kadri, Mike Smith. And a Markery rookie of Joel Farabee. A checklist there. Carlson and Subban. It's pretty cool. Felino and Mick David. Nice base card there. And he's on to the next pack. So far, just Young Guns and Opeachy. So the Young Guns, they've been all right. Um, I know Kirby Doc would be a nice one to pull too. So Peter Morazic. I know James Reimer has a base card in this series, which is pretty cool. My favorite player. Roslovic and our first canvas. It's going to be a base canvas, but it's a pretty cool looking one. A Taylor Hall. It's a nice one. Little canvas feel. I, 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 uh, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, every year the canvases, it feels like less and less like a canvas on the card. I guess they're just using cheaper materials to, uh, to make the cards, but yeah. Next pack of Series 2. Retail comes out in a week, so you'll see a tin of that on the channel. Timothy Orlov, Joe Thornton, Roman Yossi, and a Alex Galchenyuk base canvas. He's always getting traded. You can rant it in there. He's in my background there. Next pack. We should begin two more canvases. Hopefully a Young Gun canvas. And an exclusive or clear cut would be nice. Young Gun exclusive clear cut would be amazing. There's the other checklist. Bobrovsky and Panarin. Good in all of our canvases now. Brady Sajak. And it's going to be a base canvas again. Tyler Sagan, the oh, base there, Jason Spezza, pretty cool. The uh, the Quinn Hughes, I saw the uh, the canvas young gun of him. He's wearing like the retro Canucks jersey. It looks sick. It's a really nice card. That's definitely a card that I would love to pull. Probably another canvas here. <laughs> we'll see. Jacob Markstrom Canucks. They're doing pretty good right now. Wayne Simmons, David Rinnick at the. Winter Classics, looks like. And our next canvas, Kyle Palmieri. Yep, all the canvases there. Doesn't look like we're getting a Young Gun canvas. Next pack. Not the best box so far, to be honest. I need that one card that's going to make the box. Because for the price, not so good so far. So we got Jonas Corpusalo. Um, Base... 
face, Jacob Slavin, and the rookie portrait. They're all rookie portraits this year. Martin, I'm not going to try to pronounce that name there. Can't really say it. Bobrovsky on the Panthers and all base. Next pack of Series 2 Hobby. Let's see what we get. Base, Patrick Line. I'm not sure how good he's doing this season. Getzlaff, Ryan Hartman, and a Bobrovsky. Just a base update. Nico Heischer, Gossespierre, and Wilson. Next pack up. I know we're going to probably get a lot of portraits. Not sure if there's any like hobby exclusives like the brick walls and stuff in this. There might be. And Young Guns, of course. We need those. Hopefully they're good. Um, so yeah. Base, Mantha, uh, Adam Fox. That's a good one. I know there's also Kapu Kaku Young Gun, but Adam Fox, rookie. Update, James Reimer. There it is for the Carolina Hurricanes. That's a card that I've been looking for. It's pretty nice. And base, so just a heavy OPG break so far. My next video is going to be six retail packs and another pack of overtime. So stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll pull hopefully two young guns or so. Looks like we do have a young gun in this pack. So Zach Rowensky, Brady Kachuk, base, Tanev, it's going to be of. Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. I'm not sure if he's amazing, and it's too early for us to know the patterns of the young guns yet. So yeah, um, based on how the box has been looking, one card is definitely going to save it, hopefully. And any young gun would be nice, to be honest. Even the Leafs young guns I would like as well. I forgot to mention that. I know we have... I'm not sure if Pierre Engvall has a... Uh, I don't think he has one in this series, but... I forget who it was. I know two Leafs have young guns. So Anthony Rant, Anthony Ranta, Trevor Lewis. It's going to be a please, please. Barrett Hayton. That's a really solid one. That's one I've been looking, wanted to get. The captain of Team Canada. Barrett Hayton. That's a solid one. I'll definitely take that. That's another reason why I love this series so much. It's because there are a lot of good young guns. Like I would say there's at least 15 to 20 solid, decent young guns. So Barrett Hayton. Definitely is going to be a good player in the future, and it's definitely one that I'm happy of pulling. So Nicholas Backstrom, Sammy Votnin, Andrew Shaw, Ryan Dezingle, the portrait rookie of Vili Hinola, McAvoy, Stamkos, and Gibson. McAvoy is still on Boston. Haven't seen his stats lately, but I guess he's a solid player for Boston. Boston is a great this year at the time of recording. Tampa's one point behind Boston, so don't know who's going to get that first place spot. So, Jacob Truba, Jeff Skinner, there's a lot of sideways cards. Huberto, Thomas Christ, Nick Suzuki, rookie portrait. That's a nice one. All he needs is young gun now, but I'll take that. Tarasenko, Anderson, Butcher, all base. About six packs, I would say, to go. Next pack of Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. If you do enjoy this video, guys, leave a like. I'm sorry if I don't seem that enthusiastic. Long day at school and stuff. And it is 10 o'clock at night recording this. So, John Tavares, captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Phil Kessel on the Yotes. Riley Smith. And a Jonathan Davidson. Rookie portrait. The rest is base. No exclusive or clear cut yet. I uh, got tons in the last year, 18-19. So, it would be nice to get them. Now... Our Tammy Panarin. Looks like we do have a jersey here. That's cool. I can... Should I save it, guys? We'll get to it. I don't like saving. It's fine. We'll go right to it. Joe Pavelski. Milan Lucic. Robin Leonard. I hope it's one of those dual cards. That would be kind of sick. Um, Base. And it looks like right here. So it's going to be of... Ilya Mikheyev. Rookie Materials. That's a nice pull right there. Especially as a Leaf fan, 1920 Series 2, Ilya Mikheyev, uh, been worn by the future player. So not game used, but still, Mikheyev, he's been injured, should be coming back soon, and that is a decent pull. So, nice to get a jersey. I know they're pretty tough to pull, so, yeah, it's nice to get. I'm going to just do Shane, base, come on, save the break. Andrew Peaky, Pecky. 
Young Gun. So three packs left. Oh, come on, Camel Car. He would save the break. He really would. The Barry Hayton was nice and stuff. It was a all right break, but not looking at getting my money back. That is a Young Gun. Sorry, but we have to do it. I think it's the last one, too. We need suspense for something. So, what? What? Oh, my gosh. Guys. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what that was, guys. Oh, my gosh. Guys, guys. Oh, my. And girls, if you're watching, Eli Mikheyev. Guys, we saw. I saw something shining. That was crazy. I don't know what that is. I hope I'm not over-exaggerating, but I saw something there. Anyways, we'll get to the last young gun here. Jonathan Davidson, not the best for young guns, all base. So here, guys, I'm not sure if you can see. There's something shining. Don't know what that is. Anze Kopitar, Vince Dunn. Oh, shoot. What is this? What do we have here? Something to be excited about. It's We have another base here. And we have a, whoa, James Van Riemsdyk. Tricksters, not numbered, a Tricksters, wow, this is a heavy card too actually, a clear cut Tricksters card, I'm going to check the odds on these right now, because I am not sure what these are, and these look very, very cool, so Tricksters, I'm just taking a look at this, and I can't seem to find it. But that is a really cool card. I'll get back to you when I find the odds. Okay, guys. So after scanning the odds for almost like an hour, I would say, um, I could not find the odds on this. So don't know. But they're going for around $30 on eBay. So that is an awesome pull right there. It is like a die cut on a piece of see-through material. It has a date down there. That would be January 14th, 2019. Probably mark <coughs> marking a special day in the history of this player. And there's the back if you want to read it. So yeah, that is a really cool pull. Got me really excited. That's a fingerprint magnet. So I'm going to put that down. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. The hobby box. Definitely not an amazing hobby box. But I'll show you the recap. The tricksters of James Van Reems. Like, was nice. Uh, David Young Gun, Mikhaev. The rookie materials was cool. A bunch of portraits. The Barrett Hayton was nice. Um, just a bunch of more inserts here. Two more Young Guns and the uh, all the Peachy. So thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy that video, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and see you in the next video. Peace.